just want to let you know, uh, spreadsheet's going through a lot of work right now. HP over time has been made redundant. Um, and there are other pages such as ranks over time and average percentile over time. Uh, I'm, I'm on copies because the real ones would spoil the episode six results. And uh, with the relative ranks, I've made normal distribution curves for the contestants, which basically shows the trend, um, the intersection of average percentile and standard deviation. As you see, Sony Portal, very low standard deviation, very high average percentile. So she's doing very well. Mocha, low standard deviation, low scores. So he's doing like consistently bad. Uh, I've tried to convert this data into um, chance of winning data, prediction data. Uh, it is not working, so I have files in here somewhere, yeah. These files will be in Google Drive in the description, so if anyone wants to try and get it to work, go for it. Uh, and I think the spreadsheet will also be linked in the description. Uh, also in terms of mentions, I think I've got that somewhere here. Oh, I really don't want to leak anything that I'm not supposed to. Uh, I will just open it up separately. Here it is. Uh, yeah, Yoshi Pipe has updated the mention spreadsheet. Declan is still very relevant. Brick94 is very not relevant. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry, this is so unfathomably, so this is not a professional piece of media. I just forgot to film it. Enjoy the episode. No way, a retitled remastered episode actually coming out early? Welcome to Retitled Remastered 6B. And yes, the relevant links will be in the description. You precious viewers have been waiting to see how our final nine contestants responded to the prompt, what prize should the winner receive? The contestant that responded to the prompt the best will get the prize of their response, and the contestant that responded to the prompt the worst will be eliminated at the rank of ninth. And because we go in the order you placed last time, human name is up first. With his highest scoring response being, a rs 3 mv 5 Many people were able to successfully deduce that Human Name was the one to submit both of the cubing related responses, with his lowest scoring response being a Pi Cube Clock. Let's see how it did. Yikes, 30.16%, off to a poor start. And maybe you'll think twice before wasting both your responses on capitalism and cubing. Next up is Bugbird, described by one of my friends as quote, fuck around and make the final 10. He said, One of those little plastic kids trophies with retitled remastered winner 2024 written on it. That's really generous to assume the show will end this year given the current upload schedule. Anyway, voters said, Wow. By quite literally doubling human name score, you are safe. Mocha is our current efficiency champion. Can he get back on his redemption arc with the response? 10 ducks to cuddle. Ooh, another short answer, just like human names. If history says anything, this is bound to end poorly. Let's see how you did. Forty two point oh six percent. Quite a poor score, but saved by the childish greed of Kyle M. Jones. Yoshipat539 said, We can give them a trampoline. Who knows, it could come handy in a zombie apocalypse. I'm sensing a throwback to your episode 2 response. However, when Declan tried to make an apocalypse reference in his last response, it did not end well. Let's see how this one does. Whoa, 69.84%. A hefty score ensuring your safety. Cool Boy 83 is up next, the one consistently predicting his own elimination. Will the prophecy finally come true with the response? I believe that whoever wins should receive a warm hug as a job well done. A wholesome response, but I don't really feel like spending all that money on a plane ticket to fly all around the world, so I kinda hope this response doesn't win. Voters said. Well, it doesn't win, but 64.29% is still a very high score. I guess the prophecy remains false. Sony Portal, our current frontrunner, said, Wisdom Teeth? An easy prize to give to any younger contestant, but you might need to wait a bit. 
In order to survive, you just need to beat one person. Can she do it? Indeed she can, with the most average response so far at 50.79%. Although, I say that from a mathematical standpoint, so far, it's actually quite a poor score. But let's see how the remaining three contestants do, starting with Brick94, who said, Choose prize that fuels passion, not just fills pockets. Example, genocide of emos. A very different take on a non-materialistic approach. Un unlike Coolboy, who is very wholesome with his. Let's see how it does. Oh no, only 29.88%. On the bright side, human name is finally safe. Only just though. Elemental Domino is up next, and he said, The sacred book containing the story of the long-lost competition titled Mastered. Oh yes, my favorite game show featuring recently eliminated Massachusetts Girls Evolved. Anyway, so long as you don't do abysmal, you should be fine, but we'll have to see. Whoa, 63.49%. The fourth contestant to score above 60%. Good job. Now at this point, Declan still has not had his response revealed yet, and Brick94 still has not done well enough to be safe yet. If Declan's response, winner becomes co-host of Retitled Remastered Season 2, scores above 29.88%, he will be safe and Brick94 will be eliminated. If it does not, however, Brick94 will be safe and Declan will be eliminated. I mean, you did get pretty close last time, so let's see what happens now. Declan is safe. Goodbye Brick94. Despite not being a very popular player, you definitely stood out with your unique response style and ultimate passion for the game. It's unfortunate you had to be taken from us so soon, but I find it ironic that the most black book had to be taken out of the game by his own kind in the end. So sad. Statistics time, I suppose? Here are the updated normal distribution curves. And here are the updated relative ranks. And at this point, I don't even know what to say. Mocha, you're pretty screwed. Also, Brick94 was actually the first round winner to get eliminated, and Yoshi Pipe 539 is the first contestant to win two rounds. At this point, only these four contestants still have them. Also, it's come to my attention that I'm consistently forgetting to show the step. I'm consistently forgetting to show standard deviation statistics, so let's just get that out of the way. These were the most controversial responses of the episode, and why is human name there twice? Seriously, how do you consistently get the most controversial response every episode? How do you do it? Oh, and these were the least controversial responses this time. To our final eight contestants, something big is on the horizon. The alumni. The greatest contestants in the field. So with that in mind, here's the seventh prompt. Why should you join the alumni? Seriously, just make a sales pitch to the voters. It's that simple. Respond by April 23rd, 2024 at 4 p.m. AWST. And I'm serious this time. No extensions, mocha. Oh, and one last thing. Yoshipipe 539 for winning is your trampoline. See you all in Retitled Remastered Episode 7A. Goodbye.